Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, I wanted to share all of the tips and tricks I've learned for getting a fat score against the knighthood boss so that you can flex on every single member of your knighthood and basically assert your alpha dominance. So last week, I managed to get like just over 2,800. I didn't really try too hard. I got a little bit lucky on the normal one though, and that's where the majority of my points come from. But if we have a look at the uh, the super try hard, you know, where alliance ambition you can see as an alliance man they got just over a hundred thousand last week so every single member i think just got over three thousand there and i think it's entirely possible to get between like three thousand five hundred and also four thousand uh if you get kind of like a full setup on both the normal and hard but getting a really good setup is much more difficult on hard just due to the damage out part but on normal it's really not too bad that's where you can get the majority of your points at the moment and I think at least to the um uh, the best of my knowledge so far uh, by far the best setup is Jericho on the left hand side then you got Gotha, then you got Gustav and you also have Helbram now technically neither of these three characters really need to be upgraded that much and on all of them I run health sets for kind of maximum survivability but with Jericho we have the red Gila association, blue Gila works exactly the same as well, the red one's just slightly better for the attack values uh, however on Jericho we've got a two piece of crit damage uh, and that comes from pvp so very very easy to get uh, in like a couple of weeks of playing also the ring i've got some crit damage rolls on this uh, some pretty good rolls not absolutely perfect rolls uh but you know like a decent amount of crit additional crit damage as well and uh, from what i've been informed because i was watching a uh, a second poco video the um uh, the other day, a mad love to second man because he's done a lot of really, really good stuff on the knighthood boss. Apparently, like the 12,000 attack is kind of the sweet spot for Jericho, and then you want to focus on building some crit damage. So, technically, I could drop like a little bit more attack to get some more crit damage to get even more uh, potential massive damage off the crit. But the whole concept of getting a high score on the knighthood boss is to get the largest possible crit off Jericho's ultimate. So, you need three things to really maximize that you need the gold buff on Gotha you need the gold freeze on Gustav and you need Helbram's gold buff as well because Helbram's one stacks with Gotha uh, and it just works really really well and that's kind of the power of Helbram and the reason why he's used for this content uh, and a few other pieces as well is his attack buff is attack related stats and not just the attack buff so I believe like Green Gil Thunder and also um uh, characters like Arthur and Gotha, they have these like attack buffs, but it's not attack related stats because attack related stats covers everything across the board. It's like crit damage, uh, crit chance as well, I believe, um, and also attack as well. So yeah, Helbram's gold buff or even like bronze and silver buffs are really, really nice to uh, stack on top of all sorts. But also you always draw the cards based on the order uh, of the characters as well. So you can see like Jericho's here, we've got her cards, Gotha. Uh, Gustav and also Helbram here so it's very important you have this ordering because first turn you want to smash out this on Jericho so you always want to do the uh, like non-optimal play here and go for the weak point damage before the bleed because again you want to deal like low damage it's not about dealing damage to this guy regularly it's about dealing the most amount of damage in a single hit so you want to make sure he does not die prematurely and that's why you don't go for bleed in that and ideally here your like best case scenario is to um, uh, immediately top deck and merge Gotha's rank up. But you can see here, we didn't really get uh, very lucky. But we've got Helbrum, so what we can do is we can merge Helbrum here. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to use two of these Helbrum cards. And then I'm just going to uh, move... Actually, I'll fire this one off on Jericho, I reckon. It's not a, not a bad opportunity to do it at the moment. Hopefully you can draw another Jericho card. But I'm looking for another rank up or another freeze. And yeah, we didn't really get anything good there, man. So I'm just going to bail out. It's like really not the setup. Like in order to get like the biggest possible score and get like 1,800, we need to draw like at least another rank up on that first turn. If we can draw like two rank ups on that first turn or like merge a silver. 
you're absolutely laughing but the thing is with the knighthood boss there's so much rng involved in kind of you know getting the perfect setup with all of the buffs and getting that massive crit that is going to take you like quite a few tries and also just in terms of food as well uh, always using that crit damage food because that's going to multiply the ultimate damage by uh, a nice chunk as well so yeah, it's a really uh, nice additional bonus. I think it's uh, the best food to use overall for the biggest score, but I, I may be incorrect. But again, if you do have any additional insight into the... Um uh, the knighthood boss please do let me know in the comments section below okay so we're on try uh, number six now hopefully this is the one we got really close uh the last try but unfortunately i got a little bit unlucky toward the end so yeah come on man let's draw some of those rank ups on gotha that'd be so good just a perfect merger there okay that's not bad certainly not bad I think it actually makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I think we'll probably go for that. So I think we upgrade um, Gotha, and then that's going to merge that. And then... Um, depends on how hard we want to go on this try. I think we then move this here, and then I think I'm just going to use... Um, Helbrim's move, and then I hope we can draw, like, one more friggin' upgrade card. This would be perfect. Oh, not quite, man, not quite. Okay, how much old gauge do we have on people? We can throw a, uh, a Gustav card. That card. Let's get rid of this as well. And, um... Get rid of this as well, in all fairness, man. He doesn't get anybody's ult. Like, he doesn't get frozen for their, what is it, friggin' next turn anyway, so it doesn't um, matter about cancelling that one out. Okay, that is, uh, yeah, exactly what we're after. Okay, that's really, really good to see. Okay, so next turn we can line up the perfect play here. So we upgrade Gotha. And then we're going to use the Jericho card here. And then I think... Um, should we just merge that? Might as well. It doesn't do anything negative. Hang on a minute. What happened there? Did we get a bit of a weird visual bug? Okay, it sorted itself out now. So we go for the freeze. Yeah, this... Might as well just done that card. Okay, nice. So we've just got to pray now, man. We've got to pray to the net marble gods that we can actually crit this monstrosity right here. So, go through upgrade. Helbrum, Freeze, Jericho. It's all on Jericho at this point, though, man. See the attack buffs from Helbrum and go through the stack. 200% additional damage on the freeze and come on can we get the crit please there we go 3.1 million sorted lads so uh yeah that that was pretty nice not my highest crit i've uh, managed to get on that um uh boss overall but you can see 1716 there um but again i have seen it like with uh slightly better rng go up to like 3.4 but on jericho's ultimate there really is a, quite a range of damage that you can get so yeah still very very nice like that alone is awesome and then we go over to the uh the hard mode version as well now with the hard mode version there is a lot more damage output he is like a friggin truck so generally you only really have like three turns to kill him um, so it's harder to like min max this one um, and really kind of draw out the fight like a, a few more turns whereas normal you know you have a little bit more leeway but as always like the damage uh, is kind of that second layer of RNG sometimes you can just focus on like one character like Gustav for example and that's why I like to put like a health cell on everybody aside from Jericho just so you know it increases the chance of them surviving for the longest uh, possible amount of time. But here, it actually doesn't really matter uh, the order because he's got a lot more health. 
So he, you can feel free to do that like regular Jericho order. But the kind of biggest uh, multiplying factor for the damage on hard is the Golden Freeze. The Golden Freeze is like the thing you 100% need, so we even need another Freeze. That's that's pretty good. Okay, that's really good. That's really, really good. Straight into freaking gold there, boys. I kind of do need to draw a freaking rank up next turn, though. But we, we might be able to, like, long it out one more turn, maybe? So, you know, his ultimate's uh, a bit troublesome. Yeah, actually, I think here it's, it's probably a bit safer if we just want to go for a standard play, just to upgrade. Because then we can upgrade... Um, it's like as soon as this guy gets to his ult, then it's just like friggin' game over most of the time on hard. And he gets to his ult, um, not this turn, but the turn after. So like, ideally, on the third turn is when you want to kill him, or else he's very likely to friggin' just kill Jericho on this turn. See, man, he just hits like a friggin' truck. So yeah, I, I think this play is uh, the, the better one to go for. Just uh, get a bit of base stability here. So we upgrade everything. We get a gold buff there. Then we can go for a massive crit on Jericho. Again, it's not going to be as big because we don't have the Gotha attack buff modifier as well. From the, uh, the golden upgrade card. But there we go. Can we get the crit? And it's going to be no crit there, unfortunately. So, uh... Let's, uh, let's try again, see if we can get a little bit lucky with a crit. Okay, so we're back for try number five on the hard version, and hopefully this is the uh, the miracle try that we uh, are so desperately after. Hoping for a nice little silver merge there, man. That'd be perfect if we could get one. Okay, that's not bad. That's certainly not bad at all. Very happily take that, dude. That is easy to merge and then i can manually uh move as well with gustav because i can just uh merge with uh, a jericho card that i was going to use anyway so i think we use that and then let's merge uh sorry let's move this and then do i want to rank up just yet mm. Don't think it matters too much here, but yeah, let's just let's go for the rank up, man. Just because then if we can draw another rank up next turn, then we can uh, rank up the attack one to gold. But th I don't think there was any play crazy enough to uh, get a gold rank up at next turn. And again, this man needs to die on hard on turn three. See how Brim's getting ruined, boys. I'll take another turn. Actually, he's got uh, a nice little uh, cheat death ability. But there we go. We rank up this to gold. We got the attack bonus. Got the freeze. Let's go. It's what I hope for, man. This is the, the hard dream right here. Come on. Jericho crit, please. And there we go. 1.8 million, my dudes. Not too shabby, lads. Not too shabby. So that nets us a, uh, a score of 1,267, which is uh, it's pretty good. Certainly not too bad. So overall, uh, yeah, that actually didn't take me like too long to get the uh, the scores on um, uh, normal and hard today. But I think if we add those together, are we at 2,900? Might be slightly shy of that. Again, the crit could have been like a little bit higher when it comes to the normal boss to get us over 3,000 there. But that is like, you know, some of the essential stuff and basic stuff you need to know if you want to score some big PP points against the Knighthood boss. Uh, but hopefully you did enjoy today's video, today's insight into, you know, exactly what I'm doing, everything I've learned about the Knighthood boss. And I want to give a massive, massive shout out as well uh, to my boy Kazering Man. He kind of taught me everything. Everything I know um, about the Knighthood boss. He's in my um, 
uh, knighthood in seven deadly sins and yeah he just did a fantastic job just like, uh, like i initially didn't know like a month and a bit ago anything about the knighthood boss but he kind of broke everything down so i wanted to like pass on this information and hopefully it's helped some of you guys improve your scores as well so yeah please do smash that like button if you did enjoy today's video mad love to k's ring also mad love to seka poco for all the amazing information he's been putting out as well uh, again seka has uh, some more kind of different and detailed guys on the knighthood boss but i just wanted to show you guys today like you know me jumping in smashing the knighthood boss and how i very consistently get over 2500 every single week uh so yeah if you did enjoy it please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciate it take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day